Hey everybody, welcome back to Vampire Survivors. Couple of things that we're going to try and do today. Uh, survive 15 minutes with Sayuto Moonspell. And uh, we're going to do that, hopefully, in uh, the DLC level. But I also want to try and involve some of these other things that I'm still hunting for. Uh, the comments did tell me that the, the Night Sword evolution wasn't Torona's box. So I, in fact, did have it. But uh, I will need to experiment with, like, maxing them out because it seems as if you need to max out the items for these DLC evolutions, which is cool. Uh, and then I need to defeat 6,000 Kappa, which I'm going to be looking for on this level. So let's go to Mount Moonspell, Hyper Arcana's Limit Break. Let's go. Oh, I talked about Endless, too. Uh, there was a bunch of comments on the last video that I literally talked about in the video. And I'm not complaining. I, I love that you guys are commenting. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I, people were like, why don't you use your seals? Well, I've done that. Uh, let me actually... Let me actually get out of here. Let me just die. Um, I can't even die if I wanted to. Okay. So, at the bottom there, you see those items? Those are sealed. I sealed all of those. Okay. That's good. I don't even need to leave. Uh, but I did do that at the end of the video. Um, the other thing that came up was um, uh, why I shouldn't use skips. And my reasoning for the skips is that I was hunting for specific rare weapons, like the sword, for example. And when you skip, you keep XP. So I was thinking I could see more options uh, quicker because I'd hit the next level faster. Uh, and I wasn't concerned about leveling my my items at that point. So that was like my, my reasoning uh, for it. And then I think the other one was using endless mode. And I um, am not interested because I kind of like the time limit uh, for me. Oh, and also, I just realized there is a sword on this map, which is exceptionally cool. So, uh, yeah, that's very nice. What else? What would I want here? What would I want here? I'm pretty strong as it is. Uh, let me just get rid of junk I don't like. Like, look at this. It can't hurt me. Can't hurt me at all. Uh, let's take a Santa water here. Let's take a Bible. And, uh, let's go look for that sword first thing. Well, first thing. I'm gonna level a bit. Fires an extra projectile on the Summon Knight. Now, the Summon Knight, we need the Duplicator Ring. So we need the Duplicator, the Attract Orb, and the Santa, or, and the, uh, Spell Book. There it is. Let's take the Duplicator. Now, interestingly, it doesn't show this as... It doesn't show this. I wonder why that is with the DLC. I guess it's because you need to max them, and it would be maybe a bit confusing to people. I could see that becoming a bit of a problem. Let's go uh, King Bible here. Summon Knight. Effect lasts 0.3 seconds longer. Man, I think I might want to invest in some movement speed or something. I feel like I've been saying that more lately. Or like, movement speed is just starting to feel... Valuable, but it could just be the characters I'm selecting are slow as. You know? Base damage up by five. Let's hit it. I'm just gonna tank through here. Don't mind me. <laughs> uh, let's get Duplicator to level two. Sure. Because that's gonna need to be maxed, I assume. You know what they say about assumptions. Always right. Let's do, um... What do I want here? Let's go Bible. Yeah. So I just, I need to survive 15. We're gonna get that sword and see if I can upgrade as many side items as possible. If I could get the experience thing, that would be great. Maybe even some curse... Take the attract orb there. Well, 
Let's do Summon Knight again. What is this little black, like, ink? These black ink lines. I don't think I've seen that before. Oh, we got a Knight Sword right now. Um, this is kind of a waste of a slot. It is kind of a waste of a slot because I know it's on the map. But I bet you. So yeah, the Attract Orb is on the map as well, and I picked that up, so. Fun times. The thing is, I do want to evolve it. But. I don't know, maybe I should have just taken it there. We'll see. Um, let's do... What kind of damage do we need here? We have the Bibles for close, the water for kind of random. The axe eventually gets pretty good. I think right now, let's just stick with this. I actually should invest in, um, maybe some health regen here. Maybe I should have taken the garlic so we get the nice evolution for that. What's our max health of 200? Okay, summon knight up to 7. Oh, let's take the silver wind. And the enemies can drop hearts. Uh, that also needs what? Okay, that needs the Pumarola, which I totally knew, so that's great. Because, uh, yeah, I, I totally planned that. Because now I can get some extra regen going that way, too. I'll take that. Pumarola. That's so weird that it doesn't show you the upgrade there. I get it, but... I'm gonna take the, the healing. Oh, you know what? I could take Lightning Ring here because we could have, like, the double evolution thing, right? Right, 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 right. Let's do it. Um, Summon Knight. I do feel like efficiency-wise, that's probably a, a good call. farm just a bit here. These guys are actually hitting pretty hard, which is a little concerning. Do I want the skull? Uh, right now, I think we're doing okay. I think if we make them too strong right now, I'm going to be in a bit of trouble. Oh, there is a box that dropped there. And I do want to have another weapon in slot before I pick up that sword. So I can justify not picking up <laughs> in the earlier drop. Stone Mask was also on there. Uh, let's go Santa Water. Stone Mask was up next to the sword. What else do we have? The Candelabra ahead of us. Uh, let's go Bible here. One thing that I've really been enjoying about uh, these episodes... Oh, Pumarol is on map too, frick. Is, uh... There has been discoveries pretty much every episode. I can only think of a couple where we didn't really unlock anything new. And even then, we learned things. We learned a couple things, which was cool. Let's go uh, Spellbinder. And I'm just going to get over to... Oh, oh. Chonky beasts here. Get over to where the sword is, roughly, and then... Try to hold it against these guys, which may or may not be happening, because they are absolutely crushing me. What the frick? That ain't good. I'm going to just take this now, then, and go full panic mode. I think it's dead. Oh my god. Okay, so. <laughs> X 
Excellent. That's great. That's a fantastic start to my day. That's awesome. That's great. Uh, okay, hold on. I gotta check one thing here. <laughs> I can't believe that. We'll just pretend that didn't happen. Come on. Come on. This is slow. Okay, Kappa's. Yeah, Moonspell. I just wanted to be sure. I just wanted to be sure. Let's go back in. We're fine. Also, I don't even know what I picked here to start with. I think I might have just picked this to get through because I was going to quit. Uh, so that was kind of uh, not great either. Anyways, let's focus on the important things here. I could do this. Grab the thing right away and just start leveling it. And then I could level all those things and see if one of those is the combo. You know? Let's do it. Let's do, um... Let's go Laurel here for now. And we'll do a whip. Let's do the Tome. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm going to take Taronas here. I feel like that's more rare. Uh, and actually, yeah, because there's a bunch of items right next to us, too. I, oh, I didn't mean to grab the freeze. Okay, let's pick up the spell binder because I don't think that's on the map. I'm just going to see if I can pick up a bunch of side items really quick before the next two minutes spawn. Okay, um, is a clover on there? No spinach is, so let's, let's go ahead and take the clover. There's a, a duplicator there, so lightning ring is decent. Okay, let's take the hollow heart. That's not on there. We could go into the health regen again, but that's also on map. Never mind. Let's take this. Still only one minute in here. This perfect run. And it's just, now it's just literally throwing the sword at me. It's like, bro, I know you're going to take this. Um... I'm going to take the damage here. Let's do a quick freeze here. Let's grab this. Okay, let's take the tome now. And, uh, you know what? Let's take the Lancet as well. I'm just trying to fill my slots as rapidly as I can. I'm okay with that. Thank you. Let's go summon knight. Yo! Okay, crown. Yeah, I'll take that. So now... That's not exactly what I was hoping for. Uh, should I just take the cross? Yeah, sure. 
to do that. That's fine. Uh, let's take the garlic because there's a pumarola here too. Okay, and now I can go grab all the other stuff. Now, it might take a little bit to level the things that we want, but uh, we'll try our best. I'm going to do uh, the Summon Knight. So we want to level that, and that's going to require the Max Duplicator. I'm hoping that we can try and max all of our secondary items here. And then we could maybe... Let's take that Duplicator, level 2 right now. And then maybe we can... Uh, Evolve the katana thing. And people did confirm it's not Toronas, so that's cool. I'm not going to pick up those other um, rings yet until we evolve all this other stuff or max out the other stuff. Okay, let's go uh, spinach here. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking: if it's one of the DLC weapons, I'm gonna I'm gonna level that. I'll prioritize it. Otherwise, we're gonna we're gonna prioritize leveling items. And I think if we can do uh, XP first, that makes a lot of sense. Talked about a billion one times. Okay, thanks, game. Mm, let's go health here because that's needed with the fang. Health recovery, I should say. Now, I am less incentivized to explore the map, I guess, by doing it this way. Okay, summon knight, go. Now, the summon knight was saying that it had, like, the hidden... It was like a hidden red sword thing. I can't remember what it's called. So I'm not exactly sure how that works. Let's go secondary items. Uh, spinach. Summon knight to seven. Summon knight to eight. Knight sword. I kind of like the sound of the DLC weapons for some reason. It's a lot of them, and they're some, for some reason much louder. But it's a, you know, it's a welcome new sound to the chaos. Uh, let's go Tome. I can pretty well run through these guys. It's that next batch I'm worried about. Let's go Tome. Okay, let's do the Pumarola now. Okay, crown. Man, it's too bad. If we get lucky on some of these chests, we could rapidly speed up our uh, leveling desires. Uh, Night Sword. Uh, Tome here.
Let's go candelabra. Okay, let's do a clover. Crown definitely there. It's all about the secondaries and those DLC weapons. Uh, crown. Spinach. I am tempted to go... Uh, actually, I don't need to level the Hollow Heart, really. Uh, let's go Pumarola here. Man, I just ate all of those chickens. <laughs> okay, Tome is maxed. Let's go Candelabra. So, I think those stronger enemies were location-based and not time-based. This is probably not the time to pick that up, but that's fine. So if I wanted to fight some stronger guys, I could maybe try going back to that other position. This Northish. Because these waves are kind of... They're not really dense. So it feels bad to farm. Let's see what happens with the 7 here. That's scary, but better. What's our crown at? It's maxed. Okay, good. Okay, let's do spinach here. There we go, baby. There it is. Ooh! Duplicator. Yeah, right. Also generates damaging zones below the character. Whoa, and I'm like... Did I get a little speed boost here? Oh, okay. Th that's our weapon. <laughs> Dude, I literally had no clue. I thought that was like a level thing for some reason. Uh, we need to do Hollow Heart. Alright, so now we're slapping. And we knew it was the duplicator, I just kind of forgot. Me? Forget? No. Okay, I know it's not Tarona's, but I'll level that anyways. Candelabra. What's our sword at right now? We still have sword upgrades to do. Uh, let's go whip. Oh, I should have taken a trap sword. Okay, Tarona's. Let's go clover here. There's something, like, mentally satisfying about leveling the clover. You're like, I know that this is kind of just a, a gamble, but it generally pays off in the long term. I don't know if it's worth a slot, but when it's... Like, in this case, we picked it up, but um, if it's a free item on the map, it's pretty solid. Let's do uh, Candelabra, so that's max. Um, let's do a tractor. Let's do hollow hearts. So that's max. That's. I mean, it certainly seems like it's a lot of damage. Let's go spellbinder. There we go. Night sword. Okay, the levels are happening right now. This is good. Keep it coming. Whatever these things we're killing, that's great. Let's go uh, Laurel here. Night Sword. What are these things even? They're like little cat.
cats on clouds or something? That makes sense. Coronas. Let's go, uh, Toronas. Let's go, Spellbinder. Uh, Spellbinder. Yeah, I mean, I'm very curious to see what damage is going to be done here at the end of this. With this, uh, upgraded Fang thing. That is... Seemingly doing tons. And it's just like, where does it hit? Yes. Incroyable. We also, I realize, leveled the, um, the dueling fangs thing well before 10. And I wonder if DLC weapons, because you need to level Night Sword, because you need to level uh, both the item and the weapon, if you're good enough or lucky enough to get it for 10 minutes, you can get that evolution right away. It'd be kind of neat. It'd be neat to play with like weapon uh, limits. You just hit that stuff super early and then go into like a limit break or something. Let's do the... Garlic. Night Sword 7. Triples, I'm good with that. Anything. That's all, that's all fine. Yep. There's another box there. Uh, a Track Orb. Uh, whip. I'm gonna save that box until I have things that are maxed out. It's either the the whip or the sword next, it looks like. Attract orb to... Oh, whip. Uh, well, the sword, I need to level up one more anyways. Let me take the whip. Trap Orb is max, so we only have what now? Stone Mask. Okay, let's go Stone Mask. And I need one more sword. I could take the whip and then evolve that for some health regen. Let's go. Stone Mask. Coronas. Coronas. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna max Coronas. Stone mask for four. Stone mask for five. All of our items are max. I just need the sword now. And a box. Try it. Coronas to eight. Let's hit it. Why not? There's another Arcana. Let's go uh, Garlic here. Okay. Freezing enemies generates explosions. I don't mind it. Not Jail of Crystal. Uh, am I to, I have to assume that that sword upgrades into whatever the hell that is, the fiery sword. And then we would have two things doing, uh, crit damage. Let's take that. And level eight there. Okay. So now, now, I need, uh, let's go maybe Laurel so we can start going into some of the uh, Metaglio stuff. Now I need a box. And see if we have it. Okay, 
Let's go Lancet now. I just, I'm kind of controlling, like, what can upgrade. If I go into all the, the other stuff, then that could take precedence if we have the sword intact. I might not have a choice here, because we're just power farming. Maybe what I'll do is um, pick up one of those. Everything's gonna come to me here. Yo. Uh, cross. 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 Let's maybe go for the uh, rings first. We'll just do one. The beaver guy should drop him. Yeah, there it is. Let's wait till she dies. Or should I? Come on, baby. Oh! We got it! Max Stone Mask! Frick! Critical hits, combo finisher, drains health. Drains health? Our health? Wait. That's not good. Oh, okay, we got it. Stone mask. I hate Nobody picks the stone mask, okay? I'm just saying it. Nobody picks the stone. And if you pick if you're a stone mask picker, like come on. I get it. You got your farm gold. I I get it, okay? Before I get it. I get it. But I'm just saying like you get presented with spinach tome, crown, taronas, duplicator, candelabra like Stone mask? What are you picking? Not that. Okay. Anyways, now we know. And that actually, they were placed together on the map. So that makes sense. That makes sense. Let's go silver ring. Okay. So now, uh... I guess I should finish my other weapon evolutions. We're still very early. We might be able to evolve everything here. But let's let's keep it let's keep it tight for now. Tight and predictable. I should have picked the weapon. My bad. Feeling pretty strong. Let's go garlic. Now, in theory, there's like there's a limited number of things you can evolve because you're limited by the boxes. But I'm not gonna attempt a theory craft of any of that. Okay, let's go garlic. Like maybe I should be going rings and just getting to the. Uh, Max. But. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Until we evolve the garlic, let's go silver ring. And then we'll pick up the gold ring. Actually, I'm even going to pick up the gold ring now. To get more enemies coming. Go silver, silver. Nice. Silver. Just continue the absolute crushing that is happening right now. So much better than that for the first run. But to be fair, I didn't expect to get stomped by, like, giant ogre things. But I kind of do want to hunt when we were doing that before. Let's go gold ring. Follow the path. 
There, okay, I was just about to say, this I'm pretty sure is the area. And yes, they are here. Are they dying? Yes. Is it worth it? I'm not sure. Fights in tight spaces, what could go wrong? These guys are pretty, pretty, pretty strong. Why did I do this? Do I hit myself? Maybe I do, but I can't. Sure. Oh, excellent. All of the winners. Let's go. So the cross now is one away. Uh, we still have gold ring slots. Now that I've disturbed them, yeah, they're still going to chase, which I think is fine. They're dropping greens, it seems. Man, my rhymes are unintentionally just on point right now. There's a box down there. You know what? That's fine. I think it'll teleport to me. And then maybe by then, if I get two more gold here, two more gold rings off of that, then I can pick up the chest. There's one. There's two. Nice. Okay. Now the cross is ready to evolve. And uh, we'll start on these. I can take this, get the cross. This is kind of a wanker one. I don't, I don't know if I like this one. Let's, let's take both of these. And uh, let's get our HP recovery going. I don't want to just blow this run. Those dudes are very quick. Okay, let's actually go enemy frequency here. I do feel like if I'm in here, I'm getting more enemies. Because I get the, the enemies that are naturally coming towards us, but then also these cave dwellers. <laughs> let's keep them coming. There was an item that levels uh, into that permanently. pretty much max here for this run and it's at uh, 280 we've seen higher So if we have a box drop, I, I kind of don't want to pick it up accidentally. I'm 
until these metazoils are filled. And there's one, perfect. Stay away from that for a sec. I guess I'm going to be in limit break territory here. I don't know how many Kappa I've killed. Doesn't feel like 6,000. Eight. Come on. Nine. Okay, let's go. To the cloak. it is, baby. Love it. Should we go back into the, uh... Okay, uh, this is something I'm curious about. Do you guys ever, like, do, are you picking these all the time? I just feel like it's happened so frequently where... Like, I, I couldn't be bothered. But I'm sure, you know, to optimize it, some people would say yes. But I feel like I should fight in here. Mind you, not all of those other dudes will get through here. Like the base level enemies. This is definitely the place to be. And that freeze ray, not only cutting their damage in half, but then causing explosions too. Pretty gnarly. There's a box. Honey. Our little hodgepodge build here actually isn't too bad. We kind of have the things that we need, right? We've got defense, we've got pretty great... Well, I think our offense could probably be higher, but... With the evolved uh, freeze ray, it's pretty insane. Very curious to see the sword and the fang damage at the end. And then we've got the cloak, obviously. Good regen, good lifesteal. We got the duplicator, we've gained experience, we got the tome, like what else could I ask for here? I guess if anything, I could I could be asking for um like a curse skull to try and hit a hundred thousand enemies. Ooh. We do have max magnet. That does a lot of damage. Healing is doubled. We have a lot of that. And we get that extra damage going out. I feel like that's probably the right call. So we're at 61,000. Let's at the at the 22 minute mark. Let's see. We'll try to figure out how many thousand we're killing per minute. Okay, so 22 minutes coming up. We're at 63 3.
Fight me in the tunnels. Oh, you blessed me. You blessed me. Now, what do I take here? Honestly, prob probably the Santa water. seconds I need to pause and evaluate my life. Okay. So we were at 63-3 uh, and now we're at 66-6. So we're doing uh, 3,300 per minute. We have seven minutes left. Is that, is that right math? I think so. Uh, seven minutes times 3,300 equals 23,000 plus 66,647. We're 10,000 short. <laughs> well, maybe it'll send us like a bunch of snakes like on Moon Dollar. What is this? Oh, yeah. I was like, are you telling me? I shouldn't have picked that up, but I'm sure we'll get more boxes. better like map farming spot I just feel like I don't really want to leave this one now knowing that all these dudes are in here. I think we're still farming at about the same rate on my quick map there My goal for those 100,000 challenges is to do it within the time limit, not to do it on like an endless mode or something. I just think it's more pressure that way. Oh damn, I need to see this guy. Yowza! Okay, so now I kind of want to keep central here, so the Santa waters can do their thing. We also have the benefit of that Arcana right there. I 
definitely feel like the number of enemies is pretty high, but... Our end run estimate based on the map is 89,747. I think freezing them all like that is actually bad, but I can't. I literally can't see anything. Totally feels like I'm getting more when I'm in the caves. Okay, this could be kind of heavy. It's going to be pretty close. 89,747. These guys probably taking way too long to go, so that number might be well under. And we know it's not 100,000, but also, that's just a bonus. We'll probably have to do some specific challenge runs for that. I literally can't tell where my freezer is. Well, am I ever happy to find that evolution? Take me. Bring her down. Thank you. Okay. 15 minutes for Sayudo. Done. Evolve the Summon Knight. We got now Babiona. Love that. Evolve the Knight Sword. 50,000 gold. Not bad. Okay. So, Infinite Corridor, 192k. I mean, psh, yeah, obviously. Uh... The Knight Sword only did 1.9k. Now, okay. 
Oh, wait, that's the Night Sword. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. The Miraz the Miramasa did 24.1. Still not as much as the Bloody Tear. Or the Heaven Sword, even. That's actually a shocking. Why'd the Heaven Sword do so well here? I feel like when we've evolved that in the past, it has not done that well. Echo Knight, 89k. So that's something to think about. That Echo Knight, yeah, that felt like it was doing 89,000 DPS. It, you could feel it. And we ran that for 23 minutes, which is kind of nuts. Um, yeah, neat. Okay. Okay. So let me look in here. Got our things sealed away. Enables critical hits and combo finisher, but drains health. So you can see that at the end there, we were kind of taking some damage. Um, strikes with a combo attack at the nearest enemy, retaliates, might steal hearts. So I guess once we evolve this, do we lose those benefits of might steal hearts? Tough to say. This says gen generates damaging zones above the character and then also generates damaging zones below the character. So based on those descriptions, it's not saying it's removing the other one. It's just adding the other. Generates an additional explosion. Weakens enemies' defenses. So I, th I think that the base part stays. Now, we still have a few other things in here, which is interesting. Babiona. Oh, yeah, the hockey jersey. Sick. I'm excited about that. I am excited about that. Okay. And then we need to evolve that. But we have the combo for it. So when we come back, we're going Babiona. Let's go back into our uh, power-ups here. Another seal. Let's go into the collection. Let's get rid of something else that we don't want to see in those drops. That something else. <laughs> now that I saw it, like... Maybe, maybe it's because of the uh, the critical hits thing that we had. Didn't we have that Arcana for critical hits? Maybe that's when it becomes OP because it's literally covering your, the entire screen, right? One more seal. What do I want to seal away today? Let's get rid of the daggers. All right. Okay, guys, that was fun. I enjoyed that. Now, finally, get to unlock the hockey jersey. Ignores weapons cooldown. Weapons fire at a fixed interval when moving. Huh. So stats-wise here, a little bit of extra move speed, below average health, I would say. Yeah, below average health. Um... Average might, speed, duration, and area. Cooldown, minus five. Uh, some of these guys have built-in... Oh, yeah, the built-in curses from our upgrades, duh. Um, interesting. And it looks like Babiona gets 20 re uh, 10 extra rerolls for some reason. Ignores weapon cooldown. Does that mean that I should not pick the Tome? with Bobby Yona? That's my guess. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.